weird bald creature roaming on the streets of California turns out to be an animal no one expected it to be. There is nothing new in coming across various creatures on the roadside. There are pooches, kitties, raccoons, and whatnot. These creatures would often roam freely and would hide behind the garbage cans. But have you ever witnessed a very odd, strange, and unworldly kind of animal out on the streets? If you ever had such an encounter, one thing is for sure that your heart would skip a beat. For such weird and unknown animals, the only place suitable is a zoo, probably. Especially if it's a wild one. The residents of California had one such encounter with a creature they had never seen before. And when they finally realized what it was, they were petrified. Christmas was around the corner and it was celebration time. Everyone was excited and happy. And right at this time, the resident's attention was caught by a very odd visitor, an unexpected and weird trespasser. What was this never seen before type of animal? The unknown intruder was hiding behind the garbage cans. It appeared to be a little scared and in its anxiousness, it spilled a lot of garbage cans. Initially, people suspected it to be a raccoon or a possum, but it wasn't any. Its quite weird and sticky appearance created chaos. As everyone prepared for Christmas, they bought presents for their friends and families. They expected a lot of visitors to their place due to the festivity. However, none ever expected a visitor like this on the streets. Was it some mysterious animal? People would have never paid much attention to this creature had its behavior been like any other. As this creature often spilled the garbage onto the streets, it caught a lot of eyes. Probably it was doing it all in search of food, but what made everyone scared was its looks. The animal had pink scales and skin. It was rough and dry. It seemed as if he had no fur or mane. It wasn't injured, but didn't look good either. People usually got uneasy by its presence. However, one day something strange happened. This odd-looking animal would roam around the streets and houses. This was all okay until the day it decided to dig holes into the residents' backyards. It would undo the garden entirely, and it would be a mess. It had now become a cause of worry. For the animal, it became a routine. Every day there would be complaints from the neighborhood about this creature. The locals were scared to approach this being, as none knew what this animal was. Moreover, if it was a wild beast, going near it could be dangerous. It was getting important for people to know what this animal was. They needed to contact some experts and ask for help. Little did they know what a dreadful creature they had been residing with. While initially everyone thought that the animal had probably made an escape from the zoo, they decided to contact the zoo authorities but the zoo had no cases of any missing animal, moreover of an animal that looked something that weird. The residents then called the Fund for Animals Wildlife Center, FFAWC. Maybe they could help them. The Fund for Animal Wildlife Center, FFAWC, an affiliate of the Humane Society of the United States, is situated in San Diego County, Ramona, California. This organization provides medical and rehab care for various species of animals and birds. This was the most appropriate choice to ask for help. When the residents described the creature to the volunteers at the Humane Society, even they were confused. They could not understand what creature were the residents talking about. They decided to visit the place and catch hold of the animal. The people described the animal as an unusual type of creature. It had big ears, some different kind of paws, pink and rough skin. Moreover, it had some dried bumps in brown on the skin. It was just not able to answer what this creature was. As the volunteers have never known a creature of this description, they themselves were very curious to find out what it was. Though they were a little tense thinking that an animal this weird has been roaming around, yet they were excited to know what it was. When volunteers reached the residential area, they found this creature hiding in the bushes. It appeared to be scared. They caressed its back. As the animal felt calm, it stepped forward, and the volunteers were shocked. All they said was, it's impossible. This has been hiding here. The volunteers did not waste a second and could immediately recognize this animal. 
This wasn't a domesticated one, rather it was a wild beast, and the only reason for its appearance was that it was suffering from the disease mange. The FFAWC staff members told the residents that it is no other animal but a black bear. It was in a dreadful condition and needed immediate care. As the volunteers said, black bear, none could believe. In any way, it didn't appear to be one. Was it actually a bear? The team was tensed. They had never witnessed such a severe case of mange. Moreover, this skin disease is so dangerous that it can even be communicated to humans. The residential area was not at all safe for this animal as well as the natives. FFAWC team, without wasting a second, decided to transport this animal to their wildlife center and provide him with medical care. This was safe for the residents as well as good for the deteriorating health of this bear. What happened next was quite saddening. It was quite evident that the bear was very sick. He was lean and thin. Moreover, as he was diseased, his condition just turned even worse. It was one of the prime reasons this bear had been searching for food in the garbage cans. Thankfully, now the bear could be treated. Matthew Anderson, who is the director of FFAWC, in an interview showcased his concern. He said, this was the most extreme case we've seen in the history of our wildlife center. And not only this, he even terms this animal to be lucky, as he says, if he hadn't been transported here, there's no chance he would have made it on his own. He was in a really dreadful condition. The bear was immediately admitted to the FFAWC center. The volunteers had already made the arrangements for this poor animal. They knew he needed care and attention, and most importantly, medical help. The members named him Eve, as it was brought to the center on Christmas Eve. The staff and doctors paid close attention to this new member. They arranged a special bear apartment for him and supplied the much-needed nutrients to him via his meals. The bear would initially not respond, but with time, adapted to the environment. For nearly eight months, Eve was on medicine. Every now and then, his health scale was monitored. His meal plans were changed from full liquid diet to semi-solid and solid diet, and gradually Eve showed improvement. Eve's condition finally began to improve. His body mass increased and he gradually gained weight. After eight months, his mange began to shed away and little fur was making its way. With time, Eve's black fur started to grow. His pink scales were now all covered with light fur. As the fur developed, the strange and weird-looking creature started to look like a bear. Probably before this, none could have ever imagined that it is a bear. Finally, life is getting better for this bear. Everyone at the Wildlife Center was happy to see the progress Eve was making. All of them just said that it looks more like a bear now. Anderson, a staff member, said, He's exploring his enclosure much more, climbing frequently, and has especially enjoyed playing in his pool with the hot days we've been having. Initially, members at FFAWC assumed that this bear is months old due to its small size and posture, but as he grew old and gained enormous weight at a time, it became evident that he is quite old, maybe two to three years old. Eve's mane has grown, his nails grew, and most importantly, his body proportion was normal. He was showing typical bear behavior like that of exploring their space and playing around. Eve would eat, play, and sleep, but yet hasn't fully recovered. Eve has completely recovered from mange. However, now he has been treated for other secondary skin diseases that might develop with mange. He is under constant observation. His medications and food is properly taken care of, and volunteers at the center say, Anderson says that Eve's condition is under their control, and he is doing pretty good now. Moreover, they will soon release him to the wild once he is perfectly fit to do for himself. 